Hey guys, I'm Chef Pam and on this episode of Cooking at Pam's Place, we're getting ready to make Southern style cabbage croquettes. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love this recipe. It's just quick, it's simple, simple ingredients, and it's amazing the flavors you get. And if you want to learn how to make all kind of homemade food and dishes, easy, simple, made from scratch, take a second and subscribe to the channel. Turn on that notification bell so you won't miss anything. And then just keep hanging around because I have a whole channel full of recipes that'll get you there. Let's get busy. We are back. Let's go over our ingredients of Starve the Dish, our cabbage. Now you can use any type of cabbage, Napa cabbage, regular cabbage, purple cabbage. Take your pick. I like to use just regular standard green cabbage. We've got some green and red bell peppers. Feel free to use any colors of the rainbow or all of them if you like. We have also have an onion that we're going to dice up, some flour, a couple of eggs that I don't have out here, salt and pepper. That's just about it. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we need to do, make sure your cabbage is good and clean and washed off. I like to take off a few of the outside leaves. You don't have to, it's not necessary, but I like to take them off. So we just take those off and put them aside. Now, you wanna use a half a cabbage or a whole cabbage. I'm using a half a cabbage for this recipe and all the information, ingredients, instructions will be down in the description. So we just wanna cut your cabbage in half. Since I'm using half a cabbage, sit that to the side. And then we want to go in and just cut our cabbage up. We're going to cut it into chunks. After we get it cut into chunks, we're going to head over to the stove because you need to cook your cabbage for about five to seven minutes. <music> While your cabbage is cooking, go ahead and saute your onions with a little butter and olive oil. Just for a couple of minutes, just until they start to turn translucent and slightly browning a little bit. Get that flavor coming out of them. It smells delicious. Oh my goodness. Okay, cabbage is ready. Everything else is ready. Now, once your cabbage is done, Cook it, maybe but just boil it for about 10 minutes. Once it's done, you want to drain it really well and make sure you let it cool. You don't want a lot of steam coming out of it so that when we put our egg in it, it won't cook the egg. Now you're going to need some oil for frying. And my choice of oil is butter flavored Crisco shortening. So that's what we'll be using today. You'll also need some kind of measuring scoop. This is about a third of a scoop, of a scoop to scoop your uh, batter out with. So the first thing we want to do is get our eggs in here. And I am cracking them directly in here today, guys. Go ahead, get your onions in. your bell peppers and I am also adding to this dish some cooked and crumbled bacon mm -mm. delicious delicious you don't have to add that in there if you don't want season with salt and pepper to your taste
and make sure that this is well combined. Once you have that combined, you want to go in with your flour. Southern fried cabbage croquettes. Mm -mm. This is going to be delicious. Oh my goodness. Make sure you stir from the bottom so everything can be well incorporated. And we'll be right back. Okay, we've got our oil heating up. You want to make sure your oil is good and hot. And while we are waiting for our oil to heat up, I'm going to go in with just a little bit of hot sauce. You can use red pepper flakes or you can leave it out all together. I just want a little bit of that flavor in there. Go ahead, get that mixed up. And this is what your mixture should look like right before you get ready to fry it. Okay, let's head on over to the stove. Okay, our oil is good and hot. We just want to scoop a scoop up like that and put it right down in there. Flatten it out a little bit and just let it fry. Okay, you want to cook them until they get golden brown on one side. That's about maybe three to four minutes, maybe five, depending on your stove. And then just flip them over. I like to use the two spatula method. That's my personal method. Look how golden brown and delicious that is, guys. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at that. Isn't that amazing? It looks so delicious. Yes, do not be afraid to use two spatulas if you need to, like I do. It just helps keep them intact. Take that little piece off of there. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, these are ready to come out. And as you can see, they are nice and gold and brown and crispy on both sides. Sit them on a cooling rack with a paper towel underneath so they can cool really well. We'll get the second batch in. Okay guys, we are all done. Don't they look amazing? They are still on the cooling rack as you can see with the paper towel up underneath them. We are absolutely going to do a taste test guys. Oh my goodness, if you can only smell them. Mm -mm. Delicious! <music> Okay guys, we are all done. Oh my goodness, doesn't this look amazing? Oh my goodness, mmm, mmm, delicious. If you all like cabbage at all, I'm telling you, you need to make this dish. It is simple, it is quick, it is just absolutely easy. And I've already been eating and we're getting ready to do a taste test, but look at the inside. Doesn't that look amazing? Oh my God, looks like a piece of meat or something, but it's just cabbage. And you can leave the bacon out and make it all vegetarian. You can add anything else you want in here too. You can dice up some smoked sausage really thin and put that in here. It's up to you guys. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. This is so delicious. Mmm. If you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me today in my kitchen. I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys. Mm, 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 mm. Leave me some comments. 
Are you going to try this? Have you ever had it before? Oh my goodness. And even if you have, you haven't had my recipe. Oh, this is so good. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, don't forget to thumbs up the video, guys, and do me one big, huge favor. Share it out, share it out. And if you got anything out of the video, feel free to hit the thanks button right there. I'd appreciate that too. And until next time, the good Lord willing and the creek don't rise. Mm-mm. Mm. -mm. mm.